Hi guys, it's Stacy, and I'm here with a D-Stash haul that I purchased from Tina, better known as Crafty Bean. She had multiple D-Stashes, I believe at the end of last week. I bought four of these mystery boxes. Um, all I did to this one was I cut it open. I haven't looked at any of them. I'm going to open them with you guys on camera. Probably make four different videos because I have no idea how long it's going to take. Um, I may have a small idea because we got to see them, but I don't know what box we I ended up boxes I ended up with. So um, let's go because this is probably going to take a while. So I opened it up. I'm going to go ahead and pull the wood blocks and stamp it up uh, out first. Um, looks like the labels weren't put on these, which is great actually because if I wanted to I could mount these on, in my Misty. So there's some sentiments. I guess I better go faster, huh? Because we'll be here forever. There's one with a bunch of sentiments it looks like. Here's a Gina K. This is back when she did Stamp TV. I'm at a new setup. Um, we per my husband got purchased me a desk to put over here by the window um, in addition to my other one. And hopefully the lighting's better. This is cool. I like Gina K. Um, here's another Gina K. So grateful. That's cool. Kiddos and they're riding motorcycles touchy for me, but the bike and the little car, that's cool. Um, another Gina K. Even though those don't say Gina K right on, they are Gina K. Those are the designers. This one's cute. This like I think must go in a basket or something, because it's like half of the things to rest in there. Maybe it's in here, maybe not. This one's cool. It's like cross-stitching. There's some more. This must be from the second day. So here's a wood stain. Tina always sells quality products, too. Her de-stashes, if you've never purchased from her, you can rest assured that you're going to get stamps that are in good condition. Jar of fun. I don't know who that's from. That's cute. There's another Gina K. These would be good with the wreath builder, which I do have. Oh, it says it right on it. Wreath builder. Companion. Ooh, unicorn. That's a pretty one, too. It's more like a horse than just a cutesy unicorn. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, and it's a layering one, too. So if you don't color, you can layer it. Or it looks like you can color it. That's cool. Here's some Stampin' Up! ones. They're in there. Stampin' up. Some more. A muse. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen this brand before. Those are pretty. It looks like a poinsettia. Probably saying that wrong. It's mistletoe or leaves. Dinka dinka doo. Hopefully you guys can see that with the white background. That's cute. 
You could probably put her on a spinner. I bet you they match it. Studio G used to do these size back in the day. And there's a few more in here. That one's cute. Little animals all stacked it. Some candles. Art impressions. Little flamingos, their necks wrap around. I think you cut them on the edge of the card and they wrap around their clothes. And it has the dies. Ooh, that one's pretty. Gina K with her snowflakes. I think she had one at uh, Stamp Timber that was kind of popular like that. These would probably work in a wreath builder too. Gina K. Got the sweater. Mug. Hey. Okay. Oops. An art impression. I love art impressions. These are cute. A reindeer. <laughs> That's you put it on an action wobble. Wobbler. I thought the bell kind of looked like it's, you know, like star anise. I won't say it. <laughs> I like that one, though. That one can make a really funny Christmas card. I've seen this guy, too. He was done, like, falling off a roof. They had another, uh, like, scene builder set, and he hung off the, like, the front of the house by the chimney. It was really cute. Here's a little boy one that has the front and the back. So you could put do a spinner on with the boy and the girl. And that's everything in the first box. So I am going to go and stop the video here. If you haven't been to Tina's channel, I'm going to link it below. I know she's going to have some more D-stashes because I just saw her videos today. She's got Copics for sale and she bought a lot of wood stamps. <laughs> and she said she wasn't going to do it and concentrate on crafting, but she got some a really good deal. So I'll link it over and you can watch her de-stashes if you've never purchased from her before or if you have. Um, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you with the next box. Bye.